Hey everyone, it's Chaz. Today's contact staff tutorial is on a full body roll. So as you can tell from the demo, the full body roll uh, requires knowledge of a Steve and it's also useful to have a backside snares in your armory as well. If you don't know how to do the Steve you can click on the little information icon up there to find uh, information on my book First Contact where I teach the Steve. Uh, if you need to have a refresher on the backside snares uh, following on from that little icon will be another one that will take you to a link to my video on the backside snares. Even if you don't know those two, uh, you could have a go at the very start of this tutorial because we're just going to focus on the leg part. So, to do this we want to start with one leg back, first of all, and the staff on your hip like so. The centre point is just going to be on the outside here, so because I'm going to spin the staff round and I'm going to want the centre point to be making contact with just the side of my hip, just here. So, start the staff off behind you so you can get a bit of momentum swinging in with the staff here. It's going to swing in uh, just over 90 degrees and as it swings in we're going to lift our leg up. So as I swing the staff in and let go of it with my hand, I'm going to give the staff just a little push downwards like that to get the staff rolling and as it starts rolling my legs going to come up and I'm going to keep my foot flexed so pointing backwards like this the staff's going to roll down my leg and then it's going to trap between the outside of my foot and the inside of my shin here with the center point roughly in the center of my ankle so here we go like so. Now, with same with pretty much any rolling moves, the upwards we're going to keep our leg moving up slightly as the staff rolls down and this helps just to control the staff speed and it's not going to accelerate too quickly and run away from you. Boom, like that. Of course we're going to practice with the opposite side as well. So that's that's your basic leg roll. And another tip for it is we're going to keep the leg turned slightly inwards so we're not rolling the staff down like this. The leg is turned and the staff is rolling down the outside of your leg or at least just on the outside of the center line of your leg. It's not going to be all the way around right on the side or right on the back of your leg. It's going to come down here just past the outside of your kneecap and it's going to stay on this fleshy part of your shin just on the outside of your shin bone before getting trapped by your foot. So that's the leg roll part. Practice that, get that really nice and comfortable and then you can think about joining it up with your Steve. So I really like coming from a Steve because it makes it a full body roll. We're starting all the way up here on the left the staff's traveling around in a big spiral and then it's going to get stopped with your right foot. So we're going right across, diagonally across the body. Um, you can come from all sorts of uh, other moves as well. Uh, you know, you should go away and figure out your own combinations. So obviously you all know how to do a Steve by now. We start off rolling down the arm, round the neck, and then instead of continuing back up the other arm, this is where having knowledge of your backside snares is going to come in handy because we want the staff to come off underneath your arm like the exit from a backside snares and then we want it to roll down the body so as it's coming underneath your armpit we want to lean away just as we do with the backside snares but you also want to push this hip, this is my right hip, see if you do it the other way around, switch uh, your left and your right, but we want to push this hip ever so slightly forwards. 
And what this is going to do is it's going to encourage the staff to come onto just onto our side, maybe slightly onto the back. So as we were starting here and letting go of the staff with the leg roll, you see the center point was just on the side here, the side of my leg when I let go of it. So that's where we need the staff to come down to uh, from the Steve to roll onto the leg. So once more, push that hip forwards. So one more time. See how I push this hip forwards as the staff is coming down the, the side of my body. And again, with it rolling down the side of your body, you want the staff to be not coming too far forward. So we're not going to come from a, from a matrix position where we've brought the staff all the way down here, although there are leg rolls from this position. Um, we're going to do one from the back. Push that hip forwards, encourage the staff to come onto your back. Mine's probably a little too far back there. And then as it comes on the leg, we can work in the leg roll. Okay, so let's work on getting the staff down onto the leg from your Steve position. So we've come all the way around under the armpit, stick the leg forwards, let it roll, and then it's just like doing the leg exercise we did a little while before. So, without the hands so much this time. See how my leg came up quite nice and early as it was starting to get towards my hip? That gives me uh, a chance to lift the leg even further, controlling the roll down. So let's show you one more time. Boom. Uh, now this, there are various different places you can end up stopping the staff. Sometimes you even need to pivot all the way around before you can trap it. And of course you're going to practice on the other side. The principles remain exactly the same. only it's happening on the other side. One nice thing with this move is because you're stalling the staff with your foot, you can stop the staff, pop it back up, and immediately practice the other side. So that about wraps it up for the full body roll contact staff tutorial. Now there are lots of other full body rolls starting from different positions using different parts of your leg which we will get to eventually but in the meantime uh, you can see if you can figure out some of those yourself so thanks very much for watching don't forget to subscribe uh, to check out my website and if you fancy it uh, you can become a patron supporter using the links dotted around the video thanks again see you next time